Here we're gonna look at a nice little number puzzle. And this is pretty similar to a problem I've done in the past, but not everyone watches all the videos and I have almost a thousand videos at this point. So I thought we'd look at something like this again. And in addition, we're gonna use a trick in this solution that we didn't use in a previous solution. So our goal is to find all natural numbers, X and Y. And by natural numbers, I mean positive integers. Satisfying X is less than or equal to Y and the following equation. So we've got X times Y is equal to 2020X plus 2022Y plus one. Now, I've got a couple hints if you guys wanna give this a go on your own. My first hint would be to complete the product. So that's the trick we used in the previous problem. And then my second hint would be to look for a difference of squares. Okay, so let's maybe jump into the solution. We're gonna jump in with this first hint, which is to complete the product. And in order to do that, we wanna move all our variables to one side of the equation. So we'll move this term and this term over to the left-hand side. That'll leave us with x times y minus 2020 times x minus 2022 times y equals one. And I've left myself a little bit of a gap there because I wanna add something so that I complete the product over here on the right hand side. Now we just have to determine what we need to add here to complete that product. And in turn, so we don't change the equation, we will also have to add it here. So looking at this a little bit, you'll see that in order to complete the product, we will need to add the product of negative 2020 with negative 2022. But obviously the minus signs cancel, so that means we need to add 2020 times 2022. And we're actually gonna leave it like that instead of multiplying it all out because having that structure will be helpful. Okay, and then that means we have to add it on the other side of the equation as well, so 2020 times 2022. Now we can do some factoring via grouping over here on the left-hand side. So let's maybe group these first two terms and then these last two terms. From the first two terms, we'll factor out a greatest common factor, which is an X. That'll give us X times the quantity Y minus 2020. From the last two terms, we'll factor out a minus 2022. So that'll give us minus 2022, and then Y minus 2020. But that's actually really good news because now we can view this left-hand side as having a common factor of Y minus 2020. And then we'll just bring this down. So we'll have one plus 2020 times 2022. Now we can go ahead and factor this green underline out. That'll leave us with X minus 2022 and Y minus 2020 equals one plus, but now I'm gonna rewrite this 2020 times 2022 carefully so that I, I can exploit this last hint, which is using a difference of squares. So recall how a difference of squares factors as the product of two numbers that differ by two, like a minus one and a plus one. So that's exactly how we wanna look at this right here. So let's just reiterate that. So we can take this 2020 and rewrite it as 2021 minus one. And then we can take this 2022 and write it as 2021 plus one. But foiling that out, we get a different version for 2020 times 2022, and that version will help us cancel this one. So foiling out this pink and purple part will give us 2021 squared minus one, which again, like I said, is good news because this minus one and this plus one will cancel each other. But now we can think about the prime factorization or really all the possible factorizations of 2021 squared. Well, the 2021 factors like 43 times 47. So let's maybe note that right here. So I'll just fit it into the margin. So I have space in the margin for this. So 2021 equals 43 times 47. That's the prime factorization. 
that means we know how 2021 squared factors. We can think about this as factoring as one times 2021 squared. It can be 43 times 43 times 47 squared. So how we're thinking about this is ways to split these factors up among these two terms here. Another way that we can factor it would be as 43 squared times 47 squared. And then finally, we could factor it as 47 times 43 squared times 47. And obviously, there are more permutations for factoring this out, but these are all of the ones which will work well with our condition that x needs to be less than or equal to y. And what I mean by that is I am making this factorization in some sort of order so that the first bit corresponds to our x minus 2022 and our second bit corresponds with our y minus 2020. So let's just underline that. So this red bit corresponds to factoring a 1 right there a 43 right here, a 43 squared right here, and a 47 right here. And then this blue underlined bit will correspond to our 2021 squared here, our 43 times 47 squared here, this 47 squared, and then this 43 squared times 47. So that gives us four sets of equations to work with. So let's number those. So we've got this first factorization, the second, the third, and the fourth. And let's notice that this first factorization will give us a solution, and that will correspond to x minus 2022 equals 1, and y minus 2020 equals 2021 squared. So obviously we can solve for x. x is going to be equal to 2023, and then y is going to be equal to 2020 plus 2021 squared. Okay, good. Now we can move on to one of the others. So maybe let's look at the fourth one. I'll let you guys work out the second and the third because they're all pretty similar. So notice the fourth one will give us x minus 2022 equals 47, and then y minus 2020 equals 43 squared times 47. So we can obviously solve that for x and y. We get x equals, well, it's going to be 2022 plus 47. So let's see if I can do this without a mistake. That's 2069. And then y here will be 2020 plus 43 squared times 47. Now I've glossed over one important fact here, which maybe the keen viewers will notice, and that is I have somewhere implicitly used the fact that 2021 is co-prime with 2022 and 2020. So if you guys can see a similar problem where we would have to look at more cases, if something like that didn't hold, maybe post it in the comments. And that's a good place to stop.